Hello, everyone. This is uh, Mr. Kissinger with the, uh, at the Citizenship Academy in Syracuse, New York. This is fifth grade math, module five, lesson 15. We're going to be solving real world problems involving area of figures uh, with fractional side lengths using visual models and or equations. So we're going to be kind of taking some of this, uh, some of these area problems and applying them to some real world scenarios. So if we look at our first page here. It says, number one, the length of a flower bed is four times as long as its width. If its width is three eighths uh, of a meter, what is the area? So I'm going to start by drawing the flower bed. It's going to be a rectangle. And I know the width is three eighths. Of a meter and its width is four times as long so this is going to be four times three-eighths of a meter and when I, if I want to find the area I'm going to multiply both sides together so I'm going to have four times three-eighths times another three-eighths. That's going to give me my area. So because of the commutative property of multiplication, I can multiply those in any order that I want. Um, but I'm going to do the, what's in parentheses there first. So four times three-eighths is really the same as 4 over 1 times 3 eighths. So I'm going to multiply this 4 times my numerator. Um, and that's going to give me, all right, times 3 eighths here. Um, but this is going to be 12 eighths. 4 times, I have 3 eighths times, uh, times 4 will give me 12 eighths. Oh, this is 3 eighths. Now I'm going to multiply that by 3 eighths. And I'm just going to multiply straight across. I'll get uh, 12 times 3 will give me 36. And 8 times 8 is 64. So I'll get 36 64 of a meter, which would be my area. Um, now I can divide both of those uh, by, let's see, I can divide both of them by 4, it looks like. To simplify this, we could leave it as 36 64ths of a meter, but if we wanted to simplify, 36 divided by 4 would give me 9, and 64 um, divided by 4 would give me, is that 16? Six, yep, 16. I'll end up with 9 sixteenths. Now you end up in square meters. So nine nine sixteenths square meters will be my area for that flower bed. Number two says Mrs. Johnson grows herbs in square pot square plots. So like plots of land. Um, her basil plot measures five eighths yard. I eight of a of a yard on each side. Find the total area of the basal plot. So this would be five eighths. Of a yard. And this side is five eighths of a yard. So I'm just going to multiply those two together to find the area. So I'll have 5 eighths times 5 eighths. It's going to give me 25 64ths. And that'll be in square yards. So there's my area. Um, but this is going to be a multi-step problem here. It says Mrs. Johnson 
puts a fence around the basil. So that's this big square around the little square. The fence is two feet from the edge of the garden on each side. What is the perimeter of the fence in feet? So from here to here is two feet. And from here to here is two feet. And I have to convert feet into yards here. So I have in between there five eighths of a yard. Actually, let's let's change yards into feet because we have what is the perimeter of the fence in feet? So we need to find five eighths of a yard in feet. So if one yard is three feet. We need to figure out what five eighths of three is to figure out how many feet there is on the side of this basal plot here. So we'll do three times, well, we'll do three over one, that'll make things easier, times five eighths. It's gonna go 15 eighths. Feet. And so I have to add four more feet to that. Well, 15 eighths is really uh, one and seven eighths. Plus two, plus two. So plus another four feet will give, give me for this whole side here, five and seven eighths. But I want to find the perimeter. So I want to go all the way around here. So and this is really going to go down here. Um, but five, five and seven eighths. We'll have to add that four times, or just or I can multiply it by four. But I'll just I'll add it. I'll do this, uh, repeated addition here four times. Five and seven eighths plus five and seven eighths. Plus five and seven eighths. Plus five and seven eighths. I'm going to take my whole numbers first. I have four fives there, which is going to give me 20. And then I have seven eighths plus seven eighths plus seven eighths plus seven eighths. Well, seven times four is 28. It's going to give me 28 eighths. And 28 eighths, well, eight goes into 28 three times. It should be 24 eighths. So I'll have 20 plus 24 eighths, which is really three. plus 4 four eighths. 4 eighths is really one half. And I have 20 here. So I have 20 plus three plus one half is going to give me 23 and a half feet with my perimeter. So the perimeter is 23 and a half feet.
All right, so the next part says, for letter C here, it says, what is the total area in square feet that the fence encloses? So I know that each side of the fence is five and seven eighths feet. So to find the area, I would have to do five and seven eighths feet times five and seven eighths feet. Because since it's a square, I know that both sides will be the same. So I'm going to turn 5 and 7 eighths into an improper fraction, which will be 47 eighths. So 5 times uh, 8 is 40, plus 7 more is 47. So 47 eighths times 47 eighths. And I know my bottom um, part here, my denominator is going to be 64. I'm going to do 47 times 47. You could do an area model if you wanted to. I'm just going to use this standard algorithm. Um, do 7 times 7 will give me 49. 4 times 7 is 28. Plus 4 more is 32. And then I have to add a zero because I'm multiplying everything by 40 now. 7 times 4 is 28. Let me erase this up here and put my 2. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 more is 18. I'm going to add those two together. And I'll get 2,209.64. And I will have to divide that. Sixty four goes into two hundred and twenty. Well, 64 times 2 would be 128. Um, if we doubled that, that would be more than 220. So it looks like it'll go in three times. And 64 times 3. Well, 60 times 3 is 180. 4 times 3 is uh, 18, or 4 times 3 is 12. So I'll have 192. Do uh, eight here and twenty eight left over. I bring down my nine to eighty nine. Well, one twenty eight plus one. 28, we can figure that out now. That's uh, 256. Well, we won't fit another 64 in there, so um, that will be 4 times 64 is 256. Subtract. We'll 33 plus 3 is 64. And it looks like the total area is 34 and 33 60 fourths square feet. All right, so that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you next time.